Now, listen, Julia, you stay here, you hear me? And good riddance. You're not the only hunting dog in the world, you know. Huh. You don't like Julia very much, do you, Jody? No, because she's always barking at me. Well, I can hardly blame her. She's known you all your life. Well, I don't like any dog who's older than I am. <laughs> well, let's just hope the dash here is a good help to us. Yeah, and then we can go out and get that old slew foot. Mm-hmm. We'll get Julie and Dash to corner him, then shoot him. All right now, Jody, remember, don't be shy. And if there's anything you don't understand, just tell Miss Twink. Right. Come on, Dash. Good luck, Dash. Good luck! <laughs> Oh, I don't believe it. Fodderwing is really singing. Now I said my ABC. Good morning, Jody. You're late, Jody. <gasps> What's that? <laughs> it's all right, Jody. My pa insisted that Miss Twink carry it with her. It might just come in handy someday. Phew, that's good. But aren't we going to have any lessons today? Being that it's such a fine day, I thought we'd have our lessons outside. Here, Jody, I brought your book. Huh? Oh, wow. Having school outside just because it's nice weather? They left this morning as if they was going on a picnic. I told Penny that I thought she was too young, and now I'm sure of it. Yeah, and in the meantime, she's costing us a lot of money. Get ready, Dash. Okay, go get it. Dash, come back here. Oh, that's just great. The dog's gun shy. Here, these are your English textbooks. Jody. Thank you. Fodderwing. Thank you. Mm. Mm. <gasps> are other kids like the ones at Eulalie School learning hard oh. stuff like this, Miss Twink? Gee, no wonder Eulalie's so stuck up. Now, there's no need to feel that way. The two of you know a lot of things that Eulalie doesn't. Yeah, like how to make a mill and, uh, uh... Uh... And we also know how a baby fawn gets born. Have you seen a baby fawn? Sure, he likes the mill that I made. Oh, you must mean a flutter mill, right? Yeah, and I made it all by myself. That's right. Jody's a real good mill maker. Really? I set it up in me and Fodderwing's secret place. We call it the Ocean Valley. Only rabbits and squirrels know where it is. Right. Anyway, I've been working on this mill for a real long time. I wanted it to be just perfect before I tried it out in the water. And when I felt it was ready to be tested, I went down to Ocean Valley and began to set it up in the stream. Finally, I placed the mill onto the supports held my breath, and let it go. And it worked great, just like I knew it would. Later on, I went back to look at it some more. And that's when the fawn appeared. believe my eyes. A real baby fawn. When I called to him, he came right over to me and licked my hand. Oh, I see. The fawn came down to watch the mill, too. Jody, you should feel very, very lucky. Oh, I do. Want me to show you the mill, Miss Twink? Oh, I'd love that. And maybe the fawn will show up again. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> 
Halloween, it's Pa! Oh, no! He killed Miss Twink! Don't worry, it's only a scratch. Thank goodness my Pa came in the nick of time! Uh-huh. Luckily, I saw Slewfoot's prints nearby and attracted him here. <sighs> I doubt if Miss Twink will stay here now. It's not fair that Slewfoot had to show up during Miss Twink's first time in the woods. I know. And right when everything was going just great. It's the last place I would have expected to see old Slewfoot. Huh? Hmm? How is she, Pa? She's fine, Jody. Although she is a bit shaken up, she'll be all right. Oh, that's good. I'm glad she ain't hurt. She'd like to talk to you and Father Wing. Talk to us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Uh, gee, Miss Twink, Slewfoot hardly ever goes after people. There must have been something awful wrong with them. He's right. Slewfoot goes after our cattle sometimes, but he never chases people. Oh, please don't leave, Miss Twink, because me and Pa are going after Slewfoot, and I promise you that Jody, I do. Jody, I'm not going to leave the two of you. I'm not one to sneak away like Dash. <gasps> but we... Besides, how could I leave when I haven't even seen your fawn yet? Right there and then, I decided I would make a brand new milk for the little fawn. Because it seemed to me that he was the reason Miss Twink decided to stay. Fodderwing said that we ought to go and see if the little fawn would show up. So off we ran, laughing all the way down to Ocean Valley. <laughs> 